Yeah, mate. Well, it's been over 10 years. I've been filming chainsaws. And um, I've never been um, really happy with the sound quality I'm getting out of phones. So I thought I'd break it down to a bit of a history lesson. It's my first phone. It's a Nokia 5110. Now, first phone, I, th I think it was first phone ever for a GPS. If I put a battery charger into it, put it charged up, you can pull it back off. Um, I don't want to do it now. You could pull the battery off. There you go. Years and years of memories. You can replace the battery, which you had before. Um, two megapixel camera for what in the stay was pretty really good. Um, you can open the lens up there, they turn the camera on and off, which started playing up over time. Um, had stereo speakers, they're quite loud for what it was. Um, the GPS is there. It was quite a good phone. I was impressed with Nokia. That was my first one. Now that worked for about oh four five years. So I went to a Nokia N8. Now this had a 12 megapixel camera. So from 2 to 12, so it's when I started really taking um, video films and stuff for source. So I didn't want to um, lose memories of what they sound like and how they ran. This phone, the um, it used to be blue and the, the, back, the backing cover fell apart so I changed to orange, burnt orange. So yeah, I was impressed. It's a really good pictures for its day. It's one of the best um, camera phones. Um, this is a Nokia N8. Um, it's still working, needs to charge. So it still comes on, still does its thing, but now it randomly just turns off and I can't do a thing about it. So it's got a, um, a backwards button, um, a dedicated backwards, or if you have an app, yep, you go up, you turn the app off, you have a button here, go to the screen, see a multiple apps. So good, good phone, but now it's dying. It's only got, um, I think, a four um, meg, a four amp battery. So now the camera I'm filming with now is a um, a Nokia 5.3, and it does good. Um, the claim I got this one for was you can pause the videoing, and all these ones here you start, stop. That was all you had to do. Um, you can't really edit on this phone that I'm using now. So my daughter who. My kids don't really like chainsaws, but my daughter Amber, she's one of the judges. She understands my love affair with chainsaws, and she bought me um, a new camera for a certain price, but she said, not too expensive. So I looked around and looked around. Samsung Galaxy A73 5G. Now, the reason I got this, I wanted a, um, um, A72 because it's got um, a 3.5mm uh, headphone jack for, for a specific reason I thought I'll get a, a microphone and record the chainsaws in stereo so you can hear what they sound like well these don't come with a jack the 72 did they came with an optical um, free optical um, zoom lens this one doesn't it's got digital zoom um, it's got a, a 108 megapixel camera uh, 12 megapixel wide camera I think What's that one? Um, four megapixel um, macro and depth of kit lens, I don't think. But uh, 64 selfie, so it's uh, a bigger camera, bigger phone. It's 6.8 megs, uh, 6.8 um, inches, so it's awesome. Um, nice mint green color. Got today, it's beautiful. Look at that. So, plastic back, nothing glass. It's not a premium phone, but. I got a screen protector. Happy that I got the um, a see-through rubber one, which is in the house. But wow, this is gonna be awesome. Now, um, one of the reasons I thought I'd do this, I have been asking. Now, the reason I went this route, I was gonna go Nokia. Nokia 8.3 was the first Nokia I heard um, from the James Bond movie. It does surround sound, um, Dolby surround sound. So apparently, it's got microphones based around the um, whole phone, so it does um, the right sounds for what's going on. Now, I went to an Apple store and asked them, do their Apple phones record in stereo? And the guy looked at me and goes, oh, I don't know. So after about 20 minutes, he finally came back. And yes, Apple, I think it was um, iPhone 13 or 12, I can't remember now. They can do stereo, 
um, you can do surround sound. You got to download an app and use the microphone to speak um, to do that. But um, I bought this from Costco today, and the guy said there's a speaker that stare. So where's the speaker? I've got two speakers. So there's one there, one there. Don't know where the line is. Must be at the top here somewhere. But he said, it's got two speakers down the bottom. Not how, how, he said, one there, and there's one there, and there's another one here. He said, so it records in surround sound and stereo if you want. So I didn't know that until today. So I bought a um, an adapter which plugs into the charging hole. So it's a C, a C, um, uh, what do you call it? A C adapter, USB-C. Now this adapter plugs into the phone and then you can connect a 3.5 mil cable. Now I got this because it's the cheapest one I can find. I got a microphone coming from China. It's got stereo speakers. But today I didn't really need to buy this, but I thought what's gonna work better? The output microphone microphone, so the phone case phone phone tripod <laughs> the phone tripod I'm using now has got an adapter on top. So I needed a cable so I can mount this and run the uh, microphone over the top of it like that so I can get a proper stereo sound but it was just a plug in so it didn't have no cable but I thought that'll be long enough to actually work that out but um, yeah I want like this saw here it's a um, a G466 um, it's got a very distinctive exhaust note uh, quite nice so, um, I, I love the husky pop noise but it's a really loud, rasping noise. Yeah, I like it. It's a real nice saw. The very first time I started up, but it, I'm not recording in stereo. I'm recording in mono, as far as I can work out. So I'm going to bring everything so far, as far as I can, um, stereo or surround sound. Because I've got some old saws. I've got a Solo Rex, a um, Solo 642, a 635, a uh, 626. Uh, uh, what's that other old girl? Quite a few old girls. Uh, 642. Well, all the old girls, own, they got a real distinctive pop, pop, deep popping noise. Um, just the way the exhaust is. So, yeah, I've, I bit the bullet. bullet, bullet. Um, my next per, per purchase down the line will be a lathe, but I want to make sure I can capture in the best quality sound and pictures I can. So, this phone will be used just for um, video editing. editing um, that's it. But also this phone, compare to the rest, um, it's two, nearly 200 grams. It's a fairly heavy phone, but bigger than the other phones I've got. So you see the difference in size. Um, it's waterproof. It's dustproof. Um, you drop it into a meter of water. Um, it's 729, which I thought was quite reasonable. The closest phone, um, Apple in Australia to this is, uh, I think it was 1200 and that's, uh, iPhone 12, I think it was, but yeah, I thought, well, I'm not, and they got the glass in the back, so my wife had them, my daughters had them, you drop them, they get bang, so I'm not interested in looking nice, I just wanted to perform. Now, this hasn't got all the bells and whistles, but I'm interested in the, the film side of it. It's got good stabiliz stabilization on the film, it can record right up to um, 4K, so yeah, like, I want to get the best video footage I can. But anyway, um, interesting future changes for the channel. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Can't wait to do the knee tech saw. Um, he's going to bring the mufflers back to me on Wednesday, looks like. So, once I get that, yeah, I'll get uh, some video footage of that. Alright guys, thanks for watching.